Do we need the Vita in 2023? Let's find out. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna install some of the Vita games first. Uh, I have uh, two installed already, Mortal Kombat and Persona 4. So uh, I'm just gonna quickly install Ridge Racer, uh, Virtual Tennis and Samurai Warriors 4. We're back in game mode. Uh, I've just installed the five games. Um, the five games I've chosen to test today are all on the compatibility list on the 3 to 3 k website uh, and they're all marked as playable. Um, first I'm gonna see if I can find the cover art for Samurai Warriors 4. Uh, it doesn't seem to be coming up. I don't think... I don't think there is one. So... Yeah, I don't think there is one. There's Samurai Warriors 4 hyphen 2, but there's no Samurai Warriors 4. So I guess we'll just leave it at that for now. Alright, so let's try the first game. We'll go Ridge Racer. I think this is an easier game to emulate. Uh, it's a pretty old game. Okay, got the boot screen, the logos. Ridge Racer. Okay, but the buttons aren't working. Uh, I'm pressing the buttons, but nothing's happening. Is it the controller settings? All right, let's just try some controller settings. Nope. Mm. Okay. Let's see if we're, oh, the mouse works. Alright, let's see if we can control it by touch and mouse, I guess. Okay, so touch sign on. Okay. So I guess you need to use touch and or a mouse if you're connected to a monitor. If you're playing on handheld mode, I guess this would be fine. Okay. Location info, okay. Yep. Okay. Is that just me? Oh, let's try again. Ridge Racer. No, you press this button and it, the down button and it just crashes. Okay, so I guess this game doesn't work. Alright, let's do Virtual Tennis 4. I played this game recently on the PS3 emulator. It was pretty good. Okay, looking pretty good. The graphics sound is nice, but yeah. Oh shit, I put the player creation. I think I should just do arcade. And yeah, I'm just testing it out. Let's just do arcade.
Yeah, if I'm playing on Steam Deck, I'm definitely playing the PS3 version. I'm not gonna play this version. That's looking pretty good, okay. It's looking okay right now. Oh no. These graphics look pretty bad. And it's stuttering. Is it loading the shaders? Yeah. Oh, no. No, it's got glitches. It plays. Just not the best. Yeah, it plays alright. But yeah, still has some glitches and has graphical issues. I'll say this is playable, but just not the best experience, I guess. Alright, let's just go to the next one. Alright, let's try Persona 4. This one's already on PC, so you don't really need to play the Vita version. But we'll see how it runs. This one runs pretty good on the PC version, the Steam version, on Steam Deck. It runs good. So if you've got to play this game, play the Steam version. But we'll see how it runs on the Vita 3K. They're looking pretty good right now. Looking pretty good. Yes, yeah, do I have a save? No, I don't have a save. Okay, let's start a new game. Doing all right. Should I skip? Yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess I should. Ah. Yeah, the music and the graphics are all right now. So let's just enter a name. I think RPGs are easier to emulate. Nice. Oh, we got the glitches. We got some graphical glitches. Is this gameplay area? Nope. Still talking. Play yet? Now? No. So much dialogue. Okay, I think. In gameplay, but uh, the graphical glitches are just so bad that I can't even see where I'm going. So I don't think this is a playable game on the Steam Deck. It might work on the computer, I guess, because it, it is much playable. So I'm guessing these games work on the computer, just not on the Steam Deck. Alright, let's try Samurai Warriors. See how it runs. <laughs> the 
Okay, create a safe. Uh, nothing's popping up. Okay. So do I... If I use the controller, I go to yes and I click the cross button and nothing happens. Uh, and I use the mouse and it's okay. So I guess touch screen. Is this taking a little too long? Is this normal? Creating a safe. Let's wait a bit. Mm, I don't think this is normal. Should I just quit out of it? Mm, yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's just try. Let's just try quitting it. Okay, let's give it another shot. Okay. Oh, load. Let's see if we can load it. Nope. I'm pressing mouse and buttons. See if I get through. Let's try not creating a save file. Okay. Nothing seems to be working. All right, I think we might have to give up this game. Oh, without saving, I can begin without saving. Okay. Okay. We got this. Why is the screen so small? Is this a setting or is this just how it emulates? I don't think that's the normal e effect. It does look pretty cool, but yeah. Okay. How can how can that? Oh, it's transmitting. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can load in the gameplay. It does take some time to load. Okay. At least I'm in. I think. Okay. Well, I haven't played a Warriors game for a long time. The last one I enjoyed was Age of Calamity. If you like Warriors games and Zelda, that's, that's the one you should go for, I think. And it gives a nice backstory to Breath of the Wild. Yeah, this is... Yeah, yeah. Not the best. Not the best. I don't even consider this playable, actually. It's... Yeah, not that horse came out of nowhere. Yeah, it loads, but yeah. Not, not, not the best. Not the best. Alright, let's quit. Alright, let's go to our last game, uh, Mortal Kombat. 
I haven't really been playing Mortal Kombat since Mortal Kombat 2, I think. And then, you know, I've kind of got left out since Mortal Kombat 3 and it started getting... Yeah, I don't know why. I just didn't play. I did play the first two in the arcades. And then I was emulating Mortal Kombat 2, I remember. The first on a, on a 486 PC. I was emulating Mortal Kombat 2 back in the day. I think there wasn't even internet then. I think it was we used the BBS server on a modem. And I, and I downloaded it. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And we were doing all the fatalities. And we didn't have internet to search how to do the fatalities. We, we had to either get magazines and ask friends. Round one. Yeah, that was, that was back in the day. Fight. Hey, this is pretty good actually. Oh, it's a bit laggy. Oh, okay. There is some practical footage as well. And it's very, very, I mean, how many frames is this? It's very laggy. Oh my god. The graphics are alright. But, yeah, just... Yeah, very laggy. And when you do the get over here move, it just glitches. Alright, let's just try to finish this. Let's try to finish this match. Yeah, I still got the moves. Scorpion wins. Round two. Fight! I used to like to play Shang Tsung because you can uh, you can morph into other players and then you can use other player moves as well. Uh, that was part two, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it's evolved. I think this game's evolved a lot. Not bad. So yeah, um, it runs, but uh, just not the best, I think. So I definitely can't recommend playing Vita on the Steam Deck right now. No disrespect to the developers at uh, Vita 3K though. I think they're doing a great job. Uh, keep up the good work.